Hello class, welcome to my channel. So our topic in this video is about limits at infinity of polynomials. So in this topic, we're going to use two formulas. The first formula is the limit of x raised to r as x approaches to positive infinity is equals to positive infinity. And the second formula is the limit of x raised to r as x approaches to negative infinity is a positive infinity if r is an even number and negative infinity if r is an odd number. So remember class na magagamit lang natin itong dalawang formula na ito if yung ating r is any positive integer. So bawal dito yung may, merong negative, um, negative exponent tsaka yung mga fractions na exponent. So, hindi siya pwedeng gamitin doon. Okay? So, let, let us try example number 1. So, evaluate the limit of negative 6x raised to 5 plus 3x squared minus 2 as x approaches to positive infinity. So, as you notice, yung mga exponent natin dito is lahat sila positive integer. We have 5 and 2. Okay? So, meaning, pwede natin magamit yung dalawang formula na nasa taas. So, para masolve natin to, ang ating first step is to factor out the variable x with the highest exponent. So, yung trinomial natin, if a factor out natin yung x dito na mayroong highest exponent, and that is x raised to 5. So, try natin. So, factoring x raised to 5, so, meron tayong, bagong for, ano, meron tayong bagong polynomial yan. So, dito, pag pinactor natin yung x raised to 5, ang mangyayari, i-divide natin yung trinomial sa x raised to 5. So, we have negative 6 x raised to 5 divided by x raised to 5 plus 3x squared over x raised to 5 minus 2 over x raised to 5. Okay? Then after nyan, we will simplify all the fractions. So the limit as x approaches to positive infinity, we have x raised to 5 times. So dito, negative 6 x raised to 5, makakancel yan. So we have negative 6 plus, so dito makakancel yung x squared. Then yung x raised to 5 natin sa denominator, we have cube na lang. So this is... This is 3 over x cube minus 2x or 2 over x raised to 5. Okay? Then after natin masimplify yung mga fractions, pwede na natin i-evaluate si limit. So sa pag-evaluate ng limit guys, make sure na may, uh, magagamit natin yung limit term by term. Okay? So unahin natin si x raised to 5. The limit of x raised to 5 as x approaches to positive infinity, magagamit natin yung first formula natin sa taas, which is ang sagot ay positive infinity. Okay? Times, the limit of negative 6 as x approaches to positive infinity. So, since yung negative 6 is a constant, so ang, limits ng, ang limit ng constant ay yung constant mismo. Okay, plus the limit of 3 over x cubed as x approaches to positive infinity. Ito yung topic natin last time, yung sa may limits at infinity. Ang sagot dito ay 0 minus 2, the limit of 2 over x raised to 5 as x approaches to positive infinity, 0 then. Okay? So, tandaan, kapag uh, yung x natin or yung variable natin is nasa denominator, then kinuha natin yung limit niya as x approaches to positive infinity, ang sagot doon ay 0. Okay? So, simplify natin. So, we have positive infinity times negative 6 plus 0 minus 0. So, that is negative 6. Okay? Then, we have... Positive infinity times negative 6. So, since infinity na yan, ang sagot natin dyan is yung infinity. But, yung sa may sign natin, 
positive times negative, so ang sagot natin dito is negative infinity. Naintindihan? So, therefore, the limit of negative 6x raised to 5 plus 3x squared minus 2 as x approaches to positive infinity is negative infinity. Okay? So, let's proceed to example number 2. So, sa number 2, we have uh, 3 variables. Or, mer meron tayo 1 variable with 3 terms. No? So, we have x raised to 4, x squared, and x. Okay? So, again, ang first step natin is to factor out the variable with the highest exponent. So, in this case, ang variable natin na may highest exponent is yung ating x raised to 4. Okay? Then, after natin ma-factor out si x raised to 4, i-divide natin lahat ng terms by x raised to 4. Okay? So, minus x squared over x raised to 4 minus 8x over x raised to 4. Okay? Then, simplifying all the fractions, so we have the limit as x approaches positive infinity. x raised to 4 times, so dito sa first term natin sa may loob, makakancel yung ating x raised to 4, so that is 2. Minus x squared divided by x raised to 4, that is 1 over x squared. Diba? So makakancel yung x squared doon, then ito naman minus 2. Minus... So, dito we have 8. Then, yung 4 natin, makabawasan ng isang x. So, that is x cubed. Okay? Then, after nun, we can now evaluate the limits. So, again, pag nag-evaluate tayo ng limits term by term. So, the limit of x raised to 4 as x approaches to positive infinity. So, the answer is positive infinity times... The limit of 2 as x approaches to positive infinity. So, since ito ay constant, the answer is a constant. Then, next, the limit of negative 1 over x squared as x approaches to positive infinity. So, that is 0 since yung x is nasa denominator. Minus, the limit of 8 over x cubed as x approaches to positive infinity is also 0. Okay? Then simplify natin. We have positive infinity times 2. So, infinity times 2, we have positive infinity. So, therefore, the limit of 2x raised to 4 minus x squared minus 8x as x approaches to positive infinity is positive infinity. Okay? So, last example. Number 3. So, in number 3, we have the limit of 1 third t raised to 5 plus 2t cubed minus t squared plus 8 as x approaches to negative infinity. So, try natin gawin to. So, ang first step natin ulit is i-factor out si variable na merong highest exponent. So, in our case, kung mapansin nyo, ang highest exponent natin is 5. So, factoring t raised to 5. So, yung mga terms natin sa loob, lahat sila i-divide natin by t raised to 5. So, una, we have 1 third t raised to 5, then divided by t raised to 5. Okay? Oy, so, yung 1 t raised to 5 natin, pwedeng t raised to 5 na lang yan. Plus, 2 t cube divided by t raised to 5. Minus t squared over t raised to 5 plus 8 over t raised to 5. Okay, then simplifying all the fractions, we have the limit as x approaches to negative infinity. We have t raised to 5. So, sa first term natin, makakancel yung t raised to 5. So, we have 1 third 
plus 2t cubed divided by t raised to 5, we have 2 over t squared. Okay? So, ang shortcut natin dyan, mina minus lang natin yung exponent. 5 minus 3, so we have 2. Okay? So, maka-cancel yan. Minus t squared over t raised to 5. So, magiging 1 over t cubed. Since may, meron tayo dito ng 5 minus 2. Then, plus 8 over t raised to 5. Okay? Then, after nun, we can now evaluate the limits. Evaluate natin yung limits, again, term by term. So, the limit of t raised to 5 as x approaches to negative infinity. So, ang sagot natin dito is negative infinity. Bakit siya negative infinity? Kasi yung ating r o yung ating exponent is an add number. Okay? Tandaan yan ha. Next, the limit of a constant. So, ang sagot natin dyan is 1 third plus the limit of 2 over t squared as x approaches to negative infinity. We have 0 minus the limit of 1 over t cubed as x approaches to negative infinity. 0 plus the limit of 8 over t raised to 5 as x approaches to negative infinity is also 0. Okay? Then simplifying... Yung nasa loob, 1 third plus 0 minus 0 plus 0, we have 1 third. Then multiply 1 third to infinity, the answer is infinity, then negative times positive, the result is negative. So therefore, the limit of 1 third t raised to 5 plus 2t cubed minus t squared plus 8 as x approaches to negative infinity is negative infinity. Okay? So, dyan nagtatapos yung ating video. Kung meron kayong comment or clarifications or questions, uh, please write dun sa comment section below. Okay? So, thank you guys and see you on our next video. Bye!